Hello everybody and welcome back to another Doctor Who episode. This is season 1, episode 11, Boomtown. Our esteemed leader. <laughs> sure. There you go. Your steam leader. Who the hell are you? What do you mean, who the hell am I? Who the hell are you? Mm -hmm. Jack Harkness, whatever you're selling, we're not buying. Get up. <laughs> <laughs> this must be Mick, these two. How come I never get any of that? Buy me a drink first. Such hard work. <laughs> <laughs> I love your Harkness. Sounds like you're staying there. Well, of course. I mean, I don't mind you hanging out with big ears up there. Oi. Big ears? We go into time. <laughs> oh, Have you seen yourself? You all think you're so clever, don't you? <laughs> yep. Yep. In you endo Oh, a viewer sent me a video. He was walking around here. Apparently, he lives there or something, and he sent me a video. He was like, "Do you know where this is?" I didn't know where that was because I didn't really recognize it. This was back when I just started uh, Torchwood. And then he told me, and I was like, "Oh my God!" It's like I was there. If you'll excuse me, except in forty days. Oh, she's gonna kill you, girl. Let's see who can look me in the eye. Oh, bitch! I'll be like, mm. go to a hotel, spend the night. I mean, if you want to, I've got some money. Yeah. Um. Is that alright? Yeah. <laughs> really? Do I get to the last group No. It's not what it is. They're holding hands. They look like a married couple. Seriously, though. Jack Harkness was so young in this episode. And I keep saying it because I follow Young on Instagram and I like I see his posts all the time and like he's grey. And I don't know, it's just so different, you know. Not in a bad way of course. I love John. I love him so much. If you watch my Torchwood reactions, you already know. <laughs> and you wanted to spend a night with her in the hotel? Yeah, Rob Delaney's sister. She's nice. That's oh my god, Nikki! She lost weight. Oh my god, Nikki! I mean, is that why I am, bro? Stand by. Aww. Am I just supposed to sit here for the rest of my life waiting for you? Because I will. No, don't touch him. Come on. You hurt him enough. I don't know if I would be strong enough to not let her go, you know. I just need something, there's some sort of promise that when you do come back, you're coming back for me. Oh, go on then, run! It's him again, isn't it? It's the doctor! It's always the doctor! It's always gonna be the doctor, it's never me! I mean, she should have grabbed his hand and be like, run! That was mean, Rose. Oh, I'm sticking with you! So this is why he decided to stay and make Torchwood's um, office or whatever right there. Shut it. You, Flyboy. No, bitch. 
I love Rose. I really do love her. But she's not right for Mickey and she actually hurt him. The way she acted with him wasn't right. You got chosen. You're a housemate. You're in the house. <laughs> Isn't that brilliant? Welcome. But we have all made that mistake of hurting someone, so as long as you know you're hurting them and you you know stop. So yeah, as long as you know that you hurt someone and you know stop apologize stop and don't keep hurting that person then i guess it's okay because nobody's perfect we're always going to hurt someone or someone is always going to hurt us the thing is you have to realize when that's happening apologize and leave because you're gonna keep hurting them even if you apologize if that makes any sense but anyways thank you so much for watching this episode with me and as always i'm sarah Miano, and i'll see you in my next video I am Peter Pan, I'll never be a man If you never wanna grow, take my hand I'll take you to Neverland